Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Neil is here and I've got a young, uh, my young friend Don, I think we all know him, he's been on a, a regular feature, Caelan. So Caelan, glad that you're on, mate. Thank you for having me on. Not a problem, not a problem. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've won quite a few games, Caelan. Uh, Forest Green Rovers, Bolton, Shrewsbury. Uh, do you think confidence is coming back in, in Barley side now? Yeah, now well, I think when we're just losing, we just seem to have confidence. Like now, we're back into it. I think um, Forest Green Rovers were a game. I think we had to win for confidence because we we're going through a bit of a sticky patch, weren't we? We we, we couldn't either buy a win or uh, score goals. Away at Bolton in uh, FA Cup, another tricky side, a tricky away ground. We managed to win there. And Shrewsbury Town. Uh, so last two games, Adam Phillips scoring goals. Uh, what do you what do you think about that? Because he's chipping in with some important goals, isn't he? Yeah, we used to be like letting Benson do in all the work, but now he when he's got into it, he's scoring goals. Tenth minute against Shrewsbury. Mm. He's I not doing bad now. He's not doing too bad. I mean, I think that's what we're wanting as well, Kayla, isn't it? Is like when, if we start pretty quick and pretty fast and we can take a game to, say, such as Shrewsbury or Bolton, um, if, we get, if we can get an early goal, it's a gay rest of team uh, confidence to go out and all, all be well, get a few more goals. Do you agree? Yeah. When when we get a goal, we're confident. But when if they get a goal, we're just, nah. They just think we've lost. Right away when they've scored. Yeah, it's a good point, that mate, because someone did say that uh, if we've conceded a goal <coughs> first this season, we we haven't won, and that were interesting. What you've just come out with here is that when we do uh, go one goal down, we, we we haven't won, and I didn't I didn't realise that until I actually heard it and looked back the season. So, I mean, for me. It says a lot about having to leave Josh Benson on bench, knowing that Adam Phillips is scoring goals. But do you agree what Michael Duff said earlier in week? Is that there's in areas now there's uh, competition for for places. It's not just you think you're going to play. You've got to like actually put it in, and you've got to fight for your spotting team. Yeah, but Benson, he's been fighting and fighting. He's been trying his best. Mm. Isn't it? It's Mostly, uh, Norwood and Benson and Cole, they've done fine. It's just mainly all of the other team, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all about opinions at the end of the day, Caelan. Uh, I mean, uh, Luke O'Connell has come back from injury. Uh, I know Luke Thomas is out for quite a while. So that, you know, all being well, he, he, you know, he's going to be coming back soon. I know that he were on uh, Barnes' website saying that his operation went well and it's still a bit sore and that. Uh, Norwood, I think he's out for a couple of weeks, Norwood still. So you'd be looking at like Ted Hitch or H to partner Cole. So again, I think Norwich, uh, Norwich, I don't know why I've got Norwich on brain for. Uh, MK Dons, MK Dons, I think, uh, far from bottom. Uh, I was kind of surprised with that because they always seem a decent set up, a decent side, a, a decent stadium kind of thing. Do you think that Barnsley will be? Going into that game with confidence. Well, when when it's higher up teams, that they think, oh, it's gonna be an hard game. Let's try our best, boys. But when they're lower down, they're just like, oh, it should be an easy game today. Mm. Let's get it over with. Yeah, that that's a good point and all, mate. Uh, I, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Is that we sense of like struggles such as like your your Markhams, your Fleetwoods. Um, Wickham when they were down via Lincoln's, but like what you said via when we play such as like a chef, a chef of Wednesday, a Bolton, a Plymouth, we seem to up his game a bit, don't we? You know, um, so yeah, and I think Michael Duff said this in week is that just because they're down at fourth, don't think that it's going to be an easy game, you need to actually show up and like pay them respect and take the uh, you know, take the, the team on. I think. At, Bar at home for Barnsley, for me, I'd like to see his away form try and come into his own form. But I think we need to start winning a few more games at home, don't we, Caelan? Yeah, but 
do you know when I've just said that last game against Shrewsbury, we didn't play on our best. We we they were all, uh, really unlucky not scoring them goals. Mm. We was unlucky not scoring some, but they just had more chances. They tried to put in the work, but when we got a goal, we just they just couldn't get the ball in the net though. The Shrew- yeah, and the Shrewsbury game kind of reminded me of a, a Fleetwood game is that it was a bit of a scrappy game, a bit of an ugly game, but what was pleasing for me to see and like what you just touched on there is that when we got that goal, we never gave up. We didn't drop. We, we tried to go for more. We just didn't get it, but we managed to come away with a win. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all we want to win. Yeah, it might have been not the best or prettiest of the games, but we've got a win, a clean sheet, and is you know build that bit of momentum up, don't we? Going to MK Don's game. Yeah, just I think the, even though they're bottom, well, close to bottom, mm. we will get our heads in, get their heads in the game, and try tomorrow. Well, Great. Tomorrow. I mean. I, I wouldn't, <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me, I wouldn't really change anything in, inside. I'd more or less keep it as it is. Um, I don't know what you, you you know, would you want to have Benson in and uh, rest someone in midfield or would you like keep the same side going into the game? Well, we didn't do bad last time. So, no, I wouldn't really make any changes. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of keeping that side. I know Tedich might have picked up a bit of an eagle, but I'm hoping you know, that it comes through. Um, I'm just wanting Teddy to score a goal because I think it's putting in the work and the effort. It, I think he just needs that bit of luck uh, for his confidence. Just to, even, even if it's like a bit of a, a miss hit or whatever, as long as it goes in back at net, I think it'll take a bit of pressure off of Teddy. Do you agree with that? Yeah, just now I think he just seems nervous for this team. But mm-hmm. when he gets that goal, he'll... I think he'll be scoring loads. Yeah, I can see it being like, yeah, I can see it being like a Devante call. Um, I know last season they were struggling in and out, a lot of players, well, to be fair. But I think since he scored a few goals, you've seen his work rated in, you know, you can see him getting more confident in what his own, own ability. And I think that's what Tedich needs, just that bit of a, a confidence, a bit of a boost for him. Yeah, yeah. So we're both going with the same sides. Um I'll be going for a bounce win, Kale, and what what's your score prediction for tomorrow? Well, if we play the same as we did against Shrewsbury, we would have we'll have a tough game because they are a good team, they're just not being able to get the ball in the back of the net. So mm. but if we try that um we'd probably lose but I'm saying two 0 win. 2-0 win. Who do you think will be the most... Who do you think will be the player that will impress you tomorrow? Who do you think is the most important player for, for Bounder tomorrow in this game? Well, if he performs the same, probably Phillips. Hmm. Hmm. Confidence. See if he can light have another goal, you know, keep on that run. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of weird with this one because I think... I'm hoping that we turn up and we show them respect and we play our, our game and don't get sucked into their kind of way. I think it's going to be a Barnsley win 3-0. I think there's goals in it, but we need we need to start. Barnsley need to start from start and from first minute, we need to be in it, take it game to them. I think for me, I think the key player for me tomorrow, I can see it being Luke Connell in midfield. Um, I think he's going to be key in, in, in trying to bring ball out and trying to get such as like Phillips if Kane starts or Devante Cole. I think he's I think he's going to be a, a key player in that middle of park to try and create something, uh, whether it be a, a pass to his partner in midfield or try and pass through for like such as Cole or Tedich if he starts. But I'm going three 0 Barnsley. Uh, I think my player will be Luke Connell. You're going for Adam Phillips. 
one thing we both agree on, we're both going for a Barnsley win, yeah? Yeah, just, again, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Caleb, it's always been a pleasure to have you on. Uh, have your tech and uh, insight into things. Uh, really appreciate it, mate. So, uh, please like, subscribe and share for people. Leave your comments below. Do you agree with Caleb? It's going to be 2-0. Do you agree with me? It's going to be 3-0. But I think we all can agree as Barnsley fans it's going to be a Barnsley win all being well. Fingers crossed, Caleb, yeah? <laughs> One thing left to say, you Reds.